Colombo. You can't have a conversation without talking about it. Yeah. You love the guy. I do. I do. Be Why? Oh, Eskimos love Colombo. <laughs> Yes, they do. Descendants of the Aztecs love, love Colombo. Colombo. Romanians, love. Japanese, they because all they all love see him. Yes. I am also one of the Romanians that loves Colombo, having grown up watching the series on television. Romania in general has loved Colombo since its debut in the 70s, during the communist regime. In fact, they loved Colombo so much, there were fears that if the series ended, people would riot in the streets. So the ruling Communist Party of Romania asked Peter Falk to film a message of peace for the Romanian people. Truth, fiction, or some mix of both. Let's examine the evidence piece by piece and understand the connection between Colombo, Romania, and the Communist Party. The first mention of this strange connection comes from a Chicago Tribune article published in April of 1989. This article claims that when the series ended in the late 70s, Romanians believed that in truth the Communist Party just didn't want to license it anymore because of tariffs or quotas of some sort. Thus, the Communist Party asked the State Department of the United States to further ask Peter Falk to film a message for the Romanian people in which he would explain the situation. Falk apparently accepted this request, the article claims, but without sources through which this information can be verified. Fast forward 29 years and the story is pieced together in a 2018 article published on inpolitics.ro, written by Bogdanti Bediu Jakob. This article conversely claims that, in the spring of 1974, the regime in Bucharest decided to stop the purchase of the series Colombo in order to save on foreign currency, but there were fears, probably based on secret police reports, that this news could make Romanians take to the streets. It would have basically meant starting the revolution many years earlier. The solution was a typical Romanian swindle, to request that Falk give a deceitful message to the Romanians from which it would appear that the end of season 3, scheduled for May 5, 1974, is actually the end of the entire series. In fact, Colombo returned with season 4 in the fall and continued to run until 2003, a television record. Its broadcasting was resumed in our country only after the revolution, ironically, after Romanians had actually taken to the streets. The article, therefore, confirms that the Romanian skepticism described in the Chicago Tribune was founded. But this information has no source and the author further speculates that the State Department complied with the request and spoke with Falk because they did not want any scandal in the Eastern Bloc, considering the incoming visits of Henry Kissinger and later by US President Ford. What seems speculative is how popular Colombo was and if there was any kind of reasonable concern that people might actually take to the streets if the Colombo supply dried up, at least as far as the American side was concerned. But what does the evidence indicate? In 2013, Wikileaks published over 1.7 million US diplomatic communications, including official messages between the US Embassy in Romania and the US State Department on the subject of Colombo. This is not the proper venue to delve into the complexities of the American-Romanian political relationship in the communist era, but needless to say it feels like a highly unusual request. The fact in and of itself that this exchange was facilitated by the embassy and the US State Department I think tells you all you need to know about the state of affairs. Every interaction between the US and Romania was political in nature at that point. So we have seven diplomatic cables that tell more or less the entire story. To recap, the US ambassador to Romania, Harry Barnes Jr., wrote to the Secretary of State Henry Kissinger about Colombo, although it's unclear who was actually responding to Barnes. The first message is from April 18, 1974, so somewhere towards the end of season 3, at least according to the US broadcast dates, because the Romanian broadcast dates are not readily available, obviously. So we are indeed talking about the end of the season as the In Politics article claims, rather than the end of the series as was suggested in the Chicago Tribune. The message reads as follows. Point 1. Romanian television has been running the American TV series Colombo for past several months, and it has proved to be the most popular series ever carried. Last program will be May 15th. Point 2. Romanian TV requests a short 2-3 minute optical 16mm sound film clip of star Peter Falk, which would be run at end of final program along following lines. All of us who have worked on the Colombo television program want our Romanian viewers to know that we warmly appreciate the popularity the show has achieved in your country. 
we have received many reports here in the United States about how many people watch our program on Saturday and Sunday. In parentheses, Colombo is so popular that it is run on Saturday night and repeated on Sunday. We regret that this series has now come to an end. But we hope that someday, in the not too distant future, we may again put together a TV show that will be just as popular in Romania. It's a gratifying feeling for a performer such as myself to have his efforts appreciated. And I'd like to thank Romanian TV for making this possible. Noroc și la revedere! Point 3. TV would like very much for Falk to end with a brief phrase in Romanian, as indicated above. Perhaps a VOA Romanian service announcer could spell the phrase phonetically to aid Falk. Point 4. Please advise if above possible, and if developed film can be here in time for May 15th program. Post strongly concurs TV request. Signed, Barnes. The second message, dated May 3rd, 1974, is short and to the point. It says as follows. Romanian TV asking if Falk tag will be forthcoming, and if so, that text of remarks be supplied telegraphically in order for translation to be made in advance. TV inquiry based on its desire to promo piece at the end of last Colombo episode in order to boost audience. FYI, yes, it says FYI, Richard Widmark series Madigan will replace Colombo. Signed, Barnes. I'm not sure if that Madigan PS was meant as a joke, but it's probably trying to convey that the Romanians bought another TV show from us, so they're loyal customers. In any case, it's extremely funny. The third message is from the same day and it's a reply from the State Department to Romania, in which the following issue is raised. Falk willing to make Colombo closing, but producers surprised the series ending. Colombo still being produced here. Romania has purchased all current programs 18 and their license does not expire until March 1975. Distributors question, if series is so popular, why are they closing when we are still producing it? Advice. This message is among the most revelatory, because it disproves what was speculated in the In Politics article. Apparently, Romania had purchased Colombo until 1975, or they could at least broadcast the show till then. So it doesn't seem like the party tried to lie or pull a fast one on the Romanian people. For once. The following message provides an explanation to the earlier questions. Romanian TV says it's aware that Colombo is still in production, but notes that it has run all episodes received thus far and must fill space on a weekly basis, hence must schedule another series until more Colombo programs are received. Romanian TV in fact plans to resume Colombo this fall when it has had the chance to stockpile enough programs to make it regularly scheduled Saturday night primetime broadcast. Romanian TV suggests that Falk may wish to refer to this by saying something along the lines of I look forward to being with you once again this fall. Request notification of when Post can expect Falk film in order to permit advanced audience building announcements. Signed, Barnes. Columbo was not a typical TV show with weekly episodes. They produced around 8 episodes per season or less, so it's logical that they would stockpile episodes to broadcast them weekly at a later date. Fairly standard for the era. We still have 3 messages left. The next one is from May 12th and it says simply, Romanian TV pressing to know if Falk film will arrive in Bucharest in time for airing May 18th, in order for them to make necessary schedule announcements and promos. Please advise. Later on the same day, the State Department sent this message to Bucharest, which contains the text that Peter Falk would deliver for Romanian television. Text Falk interview is as follows. Quote, Oh, excuse me, do you have a minute? Allo, I'm Lieutenant Colombo. Sometimes I'm known as Peter Falk. When an actor portrays a role, he hopes he's creating a character that the audience can identify with. And from what we've heard here in Hollywood about Romania's acceptance of the Colombo show, well, I guess we must have been doing something right. Seriously, I can't tell you how much everyone connected with the Colombo show feels about receiving such heartwarming news. We would like to thank Romanian television for having put us on the air on Saturdays and Sundays. But most of all, all of us, myself and the crew and the other actors, we want to thank the Romanian people for their great response to our show. I hope someday I can come to your country and enjoy the traditional culture and hospitality of the Romanian people. In the meantime, Colombo will be seeing you again on television this fall. Until then, once again, my thanks and my best to everybody. Paul gets up and walks away, stops, turns back to camera and says, Noroc și la revedere. 
The message also contains a paragraph with details related to the delivery of this clip, sent on May 12th via Swiss Air to Zurich and later to Romania on May 14th at 8.30 in the evening. The last message on this subject, perhaps the most interesting one, comes on June 3rd from the embassy in Romania to the State Department and offers a fairly clear conclusion for the whole saga. It says thusly. Point 1. Falk film clip ran at end of Final Columbo episode Saturday, June 1st at 10.30 on Nationwide TV and was repeated Sunday, June 2nd on Bucharest Channel. Total estimated audience for this finale to exceedingly popular US series was 10 million, according to Romanian TV sources. Point 2. Tudor Vornicu, director of programming for radio and TV, highly pleased by Falk's cooperation and by excellence of clip. After initial screening, he told embassy official, A wonderful job! It couldn't have been better if I had written and produced it myself. Judging from comments of embassy officials and other Romanians, Falk's greetings and his use of Romanian language tagline created minor sensation here. Point 3. Post wishes to thank IMV and all those who were involved for their collaboration in producing what we feel was an outstanding public affairs gesture. Post would appreciate it if these sentiments could be passed to folk with our compliments. Signed, Barnes. All of these messages confirm the following. Falk was asked to and filmed a promo for the upcoming fall season of Colombo. This promo was broadcast on the 1st and 2nd of June and had an audience of approximately 10 million Romanians and they probably continued to broadcast Colombo until around 1975. We can then conclude that it was not an attempt by the Communist Party to lie to people, more rather a sincere effort to promote a popular series whose third season was just ending. But the story does not end here. Like in many quality works of detective fiction, there is a surprise witness, none other than Colombo himself, Peter Falk. The In Politics article mentions an appearance by Peter Falk on David Letterman in 1995, whose existence seems to be documented, at least online, only in an article on the Evenimental Zilei newspaper's website, which is actually a picture of an article from a 1995 issue written by the newspaper's correspondent in the USA, Aristide Buhoyu. It tells the story of Falk's appearance with a big and slightly sensationalized title. Peter Falk, alias Colombo, was contacted by the Romanian embassy in the USA to produce propaganda for the Ceausescu regime. The article transcribes and translates the key points, but a recollection of this testimony is not enough for a satisfactory conclusion. Unfortunately, there is no official and legally available archive of David Letterman's show. But there is a die-hard fan, Don Giller, who single-handedly archived apparently everything Letterman, and who is slowly publishing videos on YouTube. I wrote to him and to my astonishment, the next day I had the clip in my inbox. Thank you to Don Giller who did the work of archiving this show and for helping me with this clip, which otherwise probably would have remained forgotten until a possible official and legal publication of the show. Let's watch, as long as the copyright gods will it, Peter Falk's testimony about his adventure with the Communist Party. Is, uh, is Colombo, uh, I know the answer to this, it's seen all over the world, isn't it, in one form or another? It's very, very popular in Romania. In Romania? <laughs> very big. As a matter of fact, about 10 years ago, I got a call from the State Department, and a guy called me up and he says, we got a problem in Romania, maybe you can help us. <laughs> They understand that Columbo was a TV show, right? They did understand yeah. that. They did. So the guy says to me, can you meet us in a hotel, Century Plaza, 6 o'clock? I said, all right, I'll be there. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about, you know? <laughs> so I, I get there, there's two guys from the State Department there. And there's a, a Romanian there, he's from the uh, embassy. Mm -hmm. So they explain to me, they say, Peter, the Romanian government has very severe restrictions on the number of television shows that they can import from the United States. Oh, sure. So, so it's very severe. Cultural but, tariffs. Right. He said, well, here's the problem. Uh, you should understand that the Romanian government bought every Colombo show available. Okay, so what's the problem? He said, the problem is that the people don't believe the government. So wh what do you want me to do? He said, we got a camera here. Would you <clears throat> talk to the people, <coughs> excuse me, 
Would you talk to the people we got phonetic Romanian here? <laughs> oh, the hooked on phonics paying off there. And I gotta tell the people, I gotta tell the people, put down your guns. <laughs> they were they were arming themselves over this? My God! It was that severe. Yes, I guess so. Why would the Romanian <laughs> ambassador don't know. come here? No, of today? course. Well, I thought maybe it was about your wife's dog. No. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so we give the speech. A message of peace guns. to the folks of Romania. Yes, yeah. that's right. That's good. Uh, we want to. We want to. Is that a good story? It's today? an excellent story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're well over your eight minutes of entertainment. We, uh, Peter. Some details do not add up, which is understandable considering how much time has passed since the incident. Falk says this happened 10 years ago, but in fact it was more like 20. Falk suggests that maybe even the ambassador was at the meeting or the filming, unclear if it is the Romanian or the American ambassador. It's more likely that it's the Romanian ambassador to the US, but it is impossible to confirm. What's more curious is his confirmation that the Communist Party had already bought all the available episodes of Colombo. But the Romanians, he says, did not trust the party. It sounds like a bit of a convoluted excuse. The people of this communist regime don't believe that they bought Colombo, so we want to reassure them? Okay. What remains unclear is for how long was Colombo broadcast in Romania, and how possible or probable did it seem to the Americans that the Colombo subject could lead to a revolutionary spark. Peter Falk probably did not expect to be part of, even as a footnote, the history of the communist party in Romania. If the archives of the National Romanian Television Network were relatively accessible, the information could be verified. And why not, even the film with Peter Falk speaking phonetic Romanian could be found. It would be funny to see, despite being nothing more than a historical curiosity. Considering the popularity of the character in the world and especially in Romania, this story should not be too surprising. Columbo was popular enough to be basically ripped off and played by Puyu Calinescu in the movie Namarin Miliardar, directed by Sergiu Nicolaescu. And even after the revolution, you catch a reference to Colombo every now and then. The conclusion is simple. The promo was shot and broadcast on television, and the Romanians continue to enjoy Colombo at least for one more season. But it seems improbable that the series was so popular or that the situation was such that it could have led to people in the street. And nowhere is this speculation confirmed beyond what Falk said in the interview. So Hungary can pride itself with a statue of the lieutenant, but Romania has the honor of having been the subject of a funny anecdote told by Peter Falk on a primetime American talk show. Oh, one more thing. Falk was not the only actor who debuted on WikiLeaks thanks to Romania. There is an official message in which Deli Savalas, the star of Kojak, is asked to do something similar. But that's another story.